Hi, I'm Joey Hannon, head strength and conditioning coach at UNC Pembroke, and you're watching the Black and Gold Report on WFXB. Good afternoon, Braves fans, and welcome to this week's edition of the Black and Gold Report, a program all about UNCP athletics. I'm Kevin Freeman, and on the show this week, we'll be joined by head football coach Pete Shinnick, and on the second half of the program, we'll be talking to men's head soccer coach Phil Heinsohn. But we're joined, as usual, by Coach Shinnick. Coach, welcome back to the program. Thank you. A disappointing loss to, uh, to Catawba, 42-33 to this week. You fell behind early. The team had a lot of trouble finishing. Uh, talk about this game. What went wrong for the Braves? Well, the first half, offensively, we, we played probably as poorly as we've, uh, as we've played all season long. So that, that was disappointing. We um, marched down the field, got a field goal with the first possession, felt very good about that. Uh, we were moving. Uh, I think the second time we got the ball and uh, fumbled at the seven-yard line. Then we uh, had a couple three and outs and then moved the ball again right at the end of the half. And we're on the one yard line, fourth and one, and went for it and um, did not get the blocking that we needed. Uh, Travis was kind of hung out to dry there. Uh, and so we end the half with only three points. So very disappointing uh, to not come away with the points that we felt like we could have uh, in those opportunities. Uh, Coach, you, le you left a lot of points on the, the field against the Indians, as you sort of hinted at here. You had uh, no points after first and goal on, on the three-yard line, uh, a turnover deep in the Catawba red zone. Uh, comment a little bit on, I know this drives coaching staffs crazy when they leave points on the field. Talk a little bit about that. Well, well it does, and just frustrating because it's all things that I think we control. Um, the fumble was just, uh, uh, you know, a snap that came back a little hot, and uh, Luke had an opportunity to get it, and he didn't. And then we had an opportunity to fall on it, and we didn't. Uh, so when you're at the seven yard line and you just hand them the ball uh, with no effort on their part, uh, that's frustrating and that's irritating. Mm -hmm. And then to be able to drive late, uh, I felt really good about our guys putting together a pretty good drive and being able to uh, you know, do some things that we hadn't done in the previous drives to get down to the one and obviously get stopped uh, is not how we envisioned ending the half. Uh, special teams uh, really struggled during this game. Uh, how, how important, I know this is kind of cliche when you talk to coaches about this, but, but how important is special teams in deciding wins and losses, and, and what are some of the ways that you can shore up your special teams? Well, we had a, we had a punt blocked for a touchdown, and so uh, we've given up 14 points in our punting game uh, this year, and it hasn't been on returns. We've had a ball snapped over our head uh, week one, and then in this one we had a punt block. Great individual effort by the Catawba player, but uh, our guys weren't in the right position. They were about a half a yard too deep on our shield, uh, which allowed uh, this young man to make a great athletic play. Mm -hmm. So when you do that and then you look at the score at the end of the game and you say, okay, if those seven points uh, were not scored there, uh, you know, you're talking about a completely different mindset at the end of the game, you know, now you're just trying to get in position to kick a field goal. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we onside kicked a couple times where we might have kicked deep uh, just to give ourselves a little more room because we wouldn't have needed three scores. We would have only needed two and a half. So d different. It changed the whole complexion of the game, no doubt. And plus a play like that can really swing momentum uh, in the favor of the other team mm -hmm. as well. So you've got that to, to deal with as well. Well, UNCP historically has been a team that has won the time of possession battles. You like to grind it out, you like to give it to your running backs and chew up a lot of clock, but you've fallen short uh, in a, on a couple of games this season where the other teams have had considerably more uh, time of possession than you. Uh, what can you read into this? Uh, I mean, you're piling up yards, but you're still falling short on time of possession. How do you attribute that? Well, it, different. It's a change of philosophy, really, offensively. Uh, in the past, that was you know, probably one of our top two goals uh, was to control the clock. Uh, this year we want to play a little faster, and so we have gotten you know more yards, more points, uh, and more plays. Uh, time of possession hasn't been there. The other you know contributing factor to that is our defense uh, is not getting off the field uh, mm -hmm. as much as they have in the past. Uh, we've allowed tremendously more drives 
uh, to continue. And our defense has been on the field, uh, you know, 80 plus plays, I think, every game. So two things. Uh, we changed our philosophy offensively uh, and then defensively we haven't made the stops that we'd like. Yeah, you mentioned that. Let me, that makes a nice segue to my next question that uh, Catawba was 13 of 18 in third down efficiency. I know you as a coach will take that every day if that's your team. Uh, is this something that you and your staff are concerned about how well teams are doing against you on third down? Most definitely. Uh, and a lot of that uh, really has been attributed to guys in the right position just not making plays. Um, we, had we had three third down stops on touchdown drives uh, where we've got the man stopped for uh, not enough yardage to get the first down. They go on to make the first down because we miss a tackle. And that, which would have been a field goal attempt, has now turned into a touchdown drive. Mm -hmm. And it's got to be tough when you hold people third and long on a lot of occasions and they end up getting that one lucky catch. I hate to call it lucky, but that catch for 14 or 15 or even worse, just one more yard uh, than they actually need to get, get the first down. It's got to be frustrating for you on the sidelines. Well, it is. It's irritating. I think it takes, you know, you talked about um, momentum. I mean, it kind of takes that away also, that, you know, anything that you had gained on those first two downs. Right, uh, the, the defense is doing, their, doing a good job and then it just takes that one play in the air and the air goes out of the tires. We're going to take our first break. When we come back, we'll talk a little bit more to Coach Hinnick about the upcoming game uh, against the Pioneers. <laughs> 